welcome to the World Cafe Podcast. This podcast has been designed with curated content that centers on the power of words. Can we really do anything without speaking? Can we really do anything without the agency of words? Yes, that is what this podcast is all about. And I am your host, Amakri Subway, your neighborhood word trader. I believe in the power of words, for it is the unit of creation. I trade in words to profit my world. Okay. I just felt like doing this. The journey of Hocus, focus. You know, each time I say that, that line, it sounds, you know, what I say, strange. But honestly, it feels good to be saddled. Permit me to use the word with such a responsibility, a celestial responsibility, if I must say. I'm a writer, yes, written three books. The first one was A Cocktail of Words, which has its own story. Then the sequel, The Color of Words. Then, oh, excuse me, I need to mute this. Then, my HRO notebook, a memoir, more or less, of my HRO journey. So, writing for me mm, started like a hobby and more or less now finding myself and owning it, so to say. Sometime in May, June, I had this unsettling feeling. Yes, like There's more out there. There's something to be done. Looking back to my project, as in book projects that I've done, and my wife kept asking me, what's the problem? I said, I I really cannot place it. So, there's something. I, I just feel it in my knower, so to say, within me. So I went to work. I work in the field, as in the rotation. Jackie, I, I had to do this. Writing it now is like, mm, so let me speak. Let me record this so that you would also he- listen to it and get what you want out of it. So I work in the field. The rotation, as we call it, 20 day, 28 days on and 28 days off. So coming to work, I'd already registered for Speak for Gold. Yes, Speak for Gold is a mind engineering boot camp that has touched my life in several ways. And the change is so, so apparent as in visible. I started with cohort six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And in cohort 10, still having that feeling, you know, like something. And the convener, Feladurutoy, FD as we call him, when he came on, sincerely speaking, I wasn't expecting what he said. I was already writing, yes, my fourth book. And he said, there is a book God is giving you or God is about to give to you to write. Not what you're writing now. And I was amazed, like, who told him I was writing a book or my fourth book? And he said, this particular material 
would launch you into the deep will announce you those were his words will announce you and make people to go back and check for this author what he has written before now and i just sat down there writing he said he will give you the title of the book and he would tell as in whisper the words to you how what to write and all that all what not and honestly i just sat down writing now after those words came something dropped in my spirit which somehow the way it happens to me i'm fascinated by words i believe in the power of words that's my drive you know i see words as the unit of creation everything we do is born out of the power of words if you can grasp the power behind words then you will do so much this word dropped hocus pocus and the way i do my thing i always go i i enjoy knowing the root of words how they came about as we call it etymology or whatever so i went deep to check the meaning and it hit me that word actually is has its origin in christianity the catholic church hocus pocus just give me a minute let me read it out uh, the etymology of the word Hold on, just give me a minute. Hocus. Hocus. It's etymology. Oops, what happened there? Ooh, I lost something there. Let's go back. Give me a minute. Hocus. Etymology. The network is somewhat erratic. Okay. Oh, I'm having a network issue today. I am not a robot. <laughs> all right. So, all right. The etymology. Sorry. I'm having a little issue with my network. The etymology of the word hocus pocus. Let me read it out. What I saw and I was blown away. Magical formula used in conjuring 1630s. Earlier, hocus, hocus, common name of a magician or a juggler, 1620. A sham Latin invocation used by jugglers, blah blah blah. Perhaps based on a perversion of the sac- sacramental blessing from the mass, hoc et corpus meum, meaning this is my body. And when I saw that, whoa! What came to me was, you know, the communion. When Jesus was about to as in leave this world, pay the ultimate sacrifice, he did a very significant thing and the last supper where he talked about his body being broken, his blood being shed. Take it, eat it. And what came to me was focus. He is the focus. and when you focus on the body of Jesus when you focus on him so much happens you know we are driven the world we live in today we have a lot of noise 
So many things are happening. The messaging is distracting. A lot of people are losing focus of creation, so to say, as in the essence of their living, their being. And God wants us to focus on what? On Him. On Him. And I I was like, Lord, what do I write? And he started downloading the information to me. And the way I see it, focus, focus, it's like many-sided information. A multi-dimensional message what you're going to call an omnidirectional message. Like, when you look at it, you're seeing this. The next person looks at it, he's seeing this. So it's like, that thing the magician does on the stage, the more you look, the less you see, so to say. But in this case, the more you look, the more you focus on him, the more he reveals himself to you. And the messaging of the world is drowned. So you you, you, you know what to do. You, you, you know that step to take. Just like he said in Hebrews, looking on to Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. He is the author and he is the finisher. But the only way you can understand that is when you look unto him fixing your gaze on him like the brazen serpent in the wilderness when Moses said keep your gaze on it and the other distractions will walk away from you and I started writing and writing and somehow within as in one of the Days, the last day of cohort 10, speak for gold, I mean, I didn't want to speak. I didn't want to say anything. Somehow my camera was on and see me, Pick called me and I revealed, I, I use the word reveal because I was keeping the name secret for a while and I revealed the name of the book. And FD, that's fellow Durotoy, came on and he gave a word again. Like, I was looking at this book will be published sometime maybe in December of 2021 and all that. He said, no, this is what the Lord is saying. Within the next, before the next speak for gold, the book will be ready. You know, when he spoke the first time, what came to me, the scripture that came to me was, believe in the Lord, your God, and you will be established. Believe in his prophets, and you will prosper. That was the word that came to me. And somehow, he called, created a team. Coach Beams came on, Jackie also came on, and the other, I mean, wonderful and my mind is just like Lord what are you up to whatever you are up to my hands I surrender I humble myself take the lead so that is the story of Hocus Pocus and since the day that word came every day since after that very first day I have been writing as in bits and pieces you just you know the way the information comes you know sometimes I'm talking with a friend or I mean a colleague and all boom it drops I need to rush into the bathroom or I'm in the toilet or something they think I'm going to ease myself no I'm just going to put down a thought or something sometimes I'm in a room alone and boom it comes like that and in bits and pieces you know everything Amazing. And I'm grateful to God 
very grateful to God. Hocus, focus, the magic of life. <laughs> Jackie, I hope this helps. I hope it helps. for time it has been with you on the World Cafe podcast today. Thank you for being there. You can catch me up on my social media handles, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, all at Amakri Isoboye. Also, you can get copies of my books, A Cocktail of Words, The Color of Words, and my HR notebook on Amazon and on Robin Heights online bookstores. You can also subscribe to my YouTube page, at the same address. Yes, till we see you again. Bye for now.